Hello everybody! Nice to see you again. We're all back for another episode of Written Wednesday. All two of you. <laughs> so, when last we left off, I was not wearing suspenders, but today's kind of a snappy day. Uh, when we last left off, There had been some infighting among the Rolfians, and Maud was beginning to grow agitated. I've not gotten too much farther beyond that, but I do have a little collection of ideas to want to try and uh, get through in this stream. Also, forgive me if this isn't as long as some of my other streams. I went to work out one day, right? Got everything in the garage all set up. I was ready to go. And I, I bend, I, I bent forward to uh, just set up some of the equipment, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I got a shooting pain through my lower back that took me down to a knee. It was unpleasant. It was unpleasant yesterday, and it was unpleasant today at work. But I got through it, and uh, for now, everything's fine. But if it starts aching me too bad, I might end the stream early. I do apologize. Now. Let's get right into the writing. How is everybody doing, by the way, tonight? Scroll down here a little bit. Make sure I'm in maximum frame. Oh, God, I hate how flat my hair lays. Stranded here, I have these relics. So some songs we're stranded here, and I have these relics. By the way, you guys can't hear any noise in the background, can you? The chat's still working, right? You guys are abnormally quiet. Your father is trying to test your blood. What? The alcohol level to see what explains your behavior? I don't feel my finger and we wasted two tests because I don't have enough blood. Well, yeah, it's just pasta sauce, isn't it? <clears throat> Joking aside, though, whatever it is, I hope you're all right. I hope it's nothing serious trying to test your blood. Pass up. Okay, now... I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's an over-exaggeration because I don't think you're going to pass out from finger poking.
2008, okay. Uh, come on, spacebar, behave. Oh yeah, something I've been noticing, I think my spacebar is dying. Or not spacebar, shift. My shift key is uh, dying. be careful with this because I don't want to go too crazy. Oh. Swoosh, keep it PG. I mean, come on. I have general notes here at the bottom of what I'm trying to want to accomplish. letting that one stand here. We're going to burn that one and try it again. Nothing happened. So then why is he trying to test your blood? Okay. Perfect sense. <laughs> Just not enough in your entire body. I'm pretty sure by the end of today you're going to have a very colorful keyboard. And now it's the private sush screen, er, screen, excuse me, the private sush stream. Now, 
No, no, don't be sorry. Ethan kind of pops in and out as he pleases. The entire stream was taking a nap in front of my computer. Yeah, you know, I, I guess I guess it's just a private one today, but hopefully some other people will come in later. I know uh, Meg is, is interested in making her grand return. Next time you complain, I prevent you from working. I'll bring you back to this moment. Well, you wrote like four pages while I was taking a nap. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that you keep me from working, though. That sounds a little bit uh, mean for me. Losing one drop of blood makes you sleepy. Well, I don't know. Maybe, you, maybe that might be something you want to have looked at. I have little bl <laughs> little blood syndrome <laughs> small blood disease yes that's that's a very serious condition of course you know you, you gotta watch out for that here tickle my nose over to the side like that. That's starting to hurt. I really can't wait till my back eases up so I can get back to working on it. I'd like to exercise and try and relaunch my getting ready for Megaplex series. Because every year I try and be that little bit better than what I was the last year.
Next cinema search chapter nine. I don't think I said anything about an IMAX cinema. I sit in my chair. I can't sit in my chair leaning like that. Or or my series for for Megaplex. I'm, I'm trying to think of what maybe I heard. Megaplex is a convention I go to every year. It's a fun little uh, retreat. Fake news, it doesn't. And then cons, so it's not a convention. <laughs> well, Plex, I think, counts for it. Here, your does it make like a little can of noise? Are you losing air, Sush? Are you going to get smaller? But I think it's getting better. Well, that's good. Eventually, it has to. It's just a pinprick.
Oh, here are my finger beating, but I think it's getting better. No, I'm not shrinking, Caleb. At all. I'm not all hot air in there. There is some substance left. Sorry, I think we had that discussion before, but I forgot. How do you come up with names? Aha! <laughs> By snapping myself with suspenders. How do normal people do it? But, um, usually, for species, and I hope this advice works for anyone else, one of the main things I do is I try and think of their language first or ultimately just pick a few names I think sound cool or have a unique sound that kind of ties them together. And from there, I'll either preemptively or reactively work on such uh, some of uh, some of their language. I, I want to get a feel for what sounds they make, what their language is, where it rests in the throat. And then for other names, when you have that level of structure, names that have a sound to them or something of a language that how you want it to sound, basically what you hear them as, you can kind of start drawing them forth. Just basically sit down maybe for 20 minutes with an open word document, come up with a few names that you think sound cool overall, isolate the sounds you like in them or think about how you want this species to speak or this character or this race or whatever you're designing and monkey with a language I fully recommend looking into other languages and just listening to, to words and things like that to see if there's a sound you like or syllables you can put together that you like and you'll eventually start developing a system of this sounds about right for this the ear is a marvelous tool for things. That's actually how I play music. I, I didn't have the best music teachers. They, it was public school and they were very unengaged and I never learned how to read sheet music but I always held an appreciation for music and I wanted to learn how to play. I'm fairly good at playing any instrument I'm put before but I have to play either by watching someone else play or just through trial and error and listening to it and if it hits my ear wrong, I'll know I'm not quite where I want to be, either with the strings or whatever it is I'm playing. And the same can be said for species and names and towns and things like that in general. It, you, you have to use your ear in, in most cases and see what feels and sounds right to you. Because that's how we get original content. Stuff that's wholly unique to you because you penned it. You said, mm, this sounds good to me. These are things that a sush likes or a Meg likes, or a Cessra likes, or a Nikolai likes, or anybody. Just find what works for you. All my characters are called zero zero one. Right on. You know, in that instance, if they're going to be robots, I'd look up old computing terms. And I know this might sound a little hokey, and it might be a little a little lame. But looking to computer terms or computer scientists or programming languages or stuff like that, and just find stuff like uh, ada ada or something like that, and just move on from there. I think Fallout 4 did something like that with one of their uh, expansion packs. They are all number one. Well, you know what? I'm pretty sure Stefan Carl Stephenson would be very proud of all of them. That that man was an absolute hero. It's it's a shame he's he's gone. I, I'm awful at names, lol. I made a game once and I just called it Number. 
I'm sure the artist formerly known as Prince would more than approve. That was Prince, right? The artist formerly known as... I think it was Prince who did that goofy stuff with his name. This chapter is going on forever. How'd that work? His, so it's a him. This close to being a nerd. It took three hours to make my character, and then I had to go back home. My character was called Blue Skittle, and I think I was a dwarf thief. Complete waste. Ah. Well, it's, too, it's a shame you didn't get to use them. I have one called um, Losanthanogniomo. He is a revenge paladin, and quite fun to want to play. There was this... Uh, I forget what it is. It's like a, a panther with tentacles or something. It's a voidling or a void beast or something like that. And Losanthan took, and as a finisher, I, I did a st uh, my DM let me do a strength roll, and I just like grabbed its throat and pulled it out. 
Lysanthin is a scary fellow. He is a paladin driven exclusively by an exuberant amount of anger. I'd like to do D&D videos at some point. I just need to get back with that group and finish that campaign. That was a fun campaign. Basically, it... Um, I hope I'm not saying basically too much. I'm trying to be consciously aware of using other words, otherwise I'll get what happened in the early years when I was writing this book where everything was massive, and the massive, massive was massive. <laughs> oh, let me see. Uh, yeah, it was set after their last campaign. Okay, you should make a D&D stream in the vein of Twitch chat plays, but you are the dungeon master. Oh, I'm gonna hang on to that idea. I kind of like that. But uh, the the campaign I was in took place after the campaign with the people before me with this group of friends, and they had failed to save the world, and instead the one guy fell to darkness and ushered in the start of this apocalypse and we were like when i got in the squad that was with me we were basically the b team we were emergency plan zeta <laughs> so our main goal was trying to to save the world before shit went that means a group of turkeys it's not cursing shut up before stuff really went south A system so people have a sort of basic character as soon as they join the stream instead of wasting three hours making one for everyone. Oh, I'd probably just pick some people ahead of time. What day? This is why I don't buy, uh, why I don't wear suspenders, by the way, because I can't be trusted not to play with them. But if I if I if I did that, I'd probably have people like write up their characters ahead of time. And I'd need, like, a soundboard to do, like, goofy, cool stuff with my voice so you can have, like, dragon voices and, like, little gnome voices and stuff like that. <laughs> Night elves are purple. Indeed they are. I don't know why my little goblin gnome voices are effectively Yoda, but so they are. A night elf necromancer. Mm. A night elf mohawk. <laughs> I miss those commercials so bad with Mr. T and everyone playing D&D, or World of Warcraft. I've never actually played World of Warcraft. But, uh, yeah, I don't think you could be a necromancer. I think you'd have to be a noodlemancer, or a necromuncher. I will raise my army of sheeps back from the dead. Only to be slaughtered again. Oh, oh, you almost snuck past me. Oh, why don't you kill all your sheeps? Sheep. Sheep is plural. Yeah, sheep. Okay. No. I had a bit of a, a, a Pennsylvania moment there. My, my inner, inner Amish was tingling. I was pretty sure it's just the one, one spelling. A sheep festation. She also put your horse in the nether as punishment for your crimes. <laughs> what happened? Did you dance at her wedding? <laughs> no, not not twice, not twice. We've already had laughing over that. Ooh.
I sense a Meg in the vicinity. Hello there, how are you doing? Thank you for joining, I'm so happy you're here. Mm. Excuse me, sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna channel them ASMR burps. Got vaccinated! Oh, good, then you're safe to be around Sush. Everybody needs their Sush vaccination. Cutting radishes right now. <laughs> Sounds ra oh get no no I'm 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 sorry. That is cruel and unusual punishment. Those are war crime level puns. I am going to have to ask you to to turn them in at the door and and report yourself immediately to security. Expect more puns. Oh, hang on, hang on. I am prepared for this moment. I am prepared for this moment. Go on, make my day. Bring your puns on. <laughs> I didn't even know it was it was a pun. Yeah, I will. I will give this to Sush, and I will ask her to dance at your wedding. We're serious now. Well, actually, she's French Canadian, so instead of Hugh, 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 it would be Hon, Hon, Hon. <laughs> oh, no, not the dancing. Yes. Oh, that link's purple. I can tell I've already clicked it. Is that what I think it is? You're about to leave. Yes, show me. Roast me. Yep, that is exactly what I thought it was. The the dancing with the with the gun. Alright. I, I gotta, I gotta get new, new descriptors here. Free radishes. Now nah, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna hold out for free shabaka though. Oh, now I completely forgot what I was gonna write. Crap! Your radishes, your radishes ha have bedeviled me and confounded me for the last time. Sush, I'm sorry. Hold up your finger. 
You're going to get another shot. Radical. Oh. Mm -hmm. I just want to let you know, every time you make one of these puns, a Rokusho cries. <laughs> hedge. <laughs> or not hedge, excuse me. Uh, not in that stream. Doi, excuse me. Sush has her gun ready. All right. Don't come anywhere closer to my radishes. <laughs> no, if it was potatoes, you might be in trouble, though. <laughs> oh, God. I just thought of something that needs to happen, and I need to make this happen if I can ever animate Susha's character. You know how we've established that she is just a murder machine at weddings with her guns, just dancing around, shooting everything? I need an image of that of Sush at a wedding dancing with the guns sunk up to the audio of that guy going why won't anyone dance with me <laughs> do you want to dance with me no thank you why not you've killed my groom or wife or bride or whatever else <laughs> yes the murder dancing yes you should make a homage to my ethnic background <laughs> I don't know how to make an homage to pasta. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. No, because I'm pretty sure people will get the wrong idea. We're dealing with millennials after all in this day and age. They're a sensitive bunch. I say as if I, I'm not one. Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clap my suspenders and take me far away. Far away from the millennials. So that hopefully they'll they'll forget that I'm one too. Really, I, I just can't be left alone with this stuff. I it's the same with reflections. If I'm left alone with suspenders, I'll goof around. I'll play with them. I'll act like I'm in a swing or something, and just be a goofy spurg. And and if I'm left alone with a window or a mirror, I'll see my reflection in it and make like weird faces at myself. <laughs> Clapping your suspenders can't fix every problem. You don't know that! You take it back! Maybe if you try doing the Kanabi code. <laughs> but then, okay, yeah, up, up. <laughs> Meg, I misread that at first. I saw you're just a tool, Caleb. <laughs> and and I know. I know I am. I, I am well aware of this. I have to seek professional help from my, my trained therapist, Professor Glomer. I love you, Glomer. Off he flies, meanwhile, back to the, the woods of insanity with his trademark little zo. Tool is more accurate in the sense that you are useful, but also in every other meaning. <laughs> oh, God, Sush. Ooh. Oh. Like, and, and note, she's typing this sick fire, meanwhile, as she bleeds out on her keyboard from having her finger pricked so many times to get her blood tested. This is, this is her magnus opus. We have established that I don't... This god does not bleed. I don't think Pasta can be a god. Demigod, perhaps. 
I don't think it can go th quite that far. I have small blood syndrome, yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> and it is, and it is an uh, asphyxiated attention span. Pastafari. Oh, 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 what's going on? What is going on here? <laughs> Synonym. Apparently you hate segways too. This is one of them. Do I want to click this while I'm on stream? I have the suspenders standing by just in case. Is there any sound to this? Okay, just breathing and smacking of things. Okie doke. This is what Minecraft was always meant to be. And not sheep murder st simulator. Ellie! Ellie! Yeah, I'm, I'm happy the flintlocks well... Oh. This is why we don't wear dicky ties. I, I'd like to get My Heart Would Go On, or Will Go On by Celine Dion, just recorder cover in the background. as it sinks off into the distance. Alright, let's see if I can use the awesome power of double chin to support this thing in place while I try and... I talked to Celine Dion once. Hopefully it wasn't at her wedding! <laughs> uh. That's that's cool if you actually met her. Go um. oh, and boop, boop. There we go. Try. 
trembled in the audible spectrum. Oh, God. That just makes me think of uh, that one video. God, what is it? Um, it it's something like uh, hot dogs with sound or something. It's just... And, like, just people making noises of just hot dogs going through the assembly plant. And it's... <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's pretty good if you're not expecting it. Can you put a video on stream if I remove the copy? I don't care about the copyrighted music because I don't monetize any of my videos. I just do this for the fun of it. And just to, I guess, for selfish reasons to, to know if I, I'm entertaining to people. If, if I can draw in people and people want to see, you know, what I'm, what I'm capable of doing. So make it that... Make of that whatever you will. At the end of the day, I, I just want to make people smile and feel happy. Okay, the only problem is I don't know if it'll show the whole thing or just... Let me, 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 let me see what we can do here. Right, pause. Oh, I've seen this one before! Alright, if I minimize you, did it minimize the Word document on the screen? Can you see half of my desktop, or, or does it still just show the, the file? Uh, you just see the word document. Okay. Eh? Elvis Presley, musicless music video. I love this. pretty much an accurate representation of what's going on inside my head at any given moment ever. Just an absolute deficit of noise or, or function. <laughs> okay. But uh, it's funny you should mention Elvis. Because I've had him make a few celebrity guest appearances in a few of my YouTube videos when I was doing the cooker, uh, cooking with greaser things. <laughs> and this, this is obviously a face which does not quite approve or understand what a sushi is and is doing. Now can I hang it back up on the wall or have I just completely screwed up my room? Oh no, come on now. There we go. It's more or less straight on the wall. Perfect. Wonderful. Co-hosting with a picture of... Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much what it was. That sounds it doesn't need to be here.
really? Did I really? Already the progress is going backwards. You deleted it. Now, it's for quality. It is for quality. I'd rather have one sentence uh, of decent writing than a thousand sentences of terrible writing. Because I want this book to be as good as it can be. You might be able to time travel. Uh, yeah, no, we're just gonna we're just gonna shoot backward, and we're gonna end up at chapter one, and it's gonna take me another fifteen years uh, of tinkering and working to want to try and get something I'm happy with. Oh, by the way, I had an idea. Meg, do you mind if I call you in Discord? I want to see if the stream picks up the audio. Because I know last time I was listening to that uh, link Sush had sent with the gun and everything, if I recall correctly, I could hear the audio of the YouTube video in the recording. So I'm curious if we might have a more effective way to want to do readings with future participants. But you cannot No, 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 no. I've not I've not written enough to warrant reading. And I I put Sush up to the task, but I've never heard Sush over mic. I don't think she uses a mic. Now, let's just call you up real quick. There we go. Voice connected. Oh, you're already there. Uh, Dang, you're quick on the <laughs> quick on the draw. Well, I'm I am gonna, both I, illiterate I and mute. Hello. Wait. Oh, I, I have to. All right, Sush. Can you hear the Meg in my? You hear the meganium. <laughs> the megumin explosion. The megumin, megumin explosion. What? Uh, I'll show it to you sometime. <laughs> oh, oh you. god! This is one of those. I'll show you when you're older. Oh no! I'm already deeply concerned. Explosion. <laughs> Caleb has discovered What's, a new. Is it, so is it working then? A meganium is actually a flower, Sush. But yeah, according to Sush, everything's working. Thank you very much for your time. Sorry to bother you. Oh, no. You're oh, no. No, no. <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> I, my God, I think Sush might be right. This pasta can actually be a god. We're all turning Italian. <gasps> what are you talking about? <laughs> Mama, why you don't remember my name? <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. Well, I'm there goes my my career in the future. I can't stream in Italy anymore. Everyone's <laughs> going to label me a horrible person. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave the call. Thank you very much. It's not it's Bye. not a call if I'm not ruined. Oh jeez. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> my cat tried to eat a radish and is now fleeing the scene of a murder.
Ooh, I can hear myself. Oh God, no! I I know the feeling. I hate hearing myself back in my recordings because I sound. I have a much smoother, bassier quote in my head, and then to hear myself talk, it is like the most nasally awkward thing on the face of the earth. And I've watched some of these videos, and for some reason, I wasn't aware I make this face. But these two front teeth are usually the most prominently visible feature in most of my face. I have like this resting kind of face, and I don't know what the heck it is. I, I I wasn't aware that that happened. Just the sort of resting face, and I I I hate it. We can't see your teeth from here. Well, that's good. I am waiting for the sush fun fact. In real life, I might sound like Lily Pachu, Lily Lily Pachu. Leafy, oh dear, who is Lily Pichu or Lily Pachu? I have no idea who that is. Leafy, I know. I I, I used to watch a lot of Leafy. Lily Pichu. Still no idea who that is. She's got a high-pitched voice. Oh. I have to look that up after... <sighs> Sounds like an anime girl. Oh, oh dear. She's wonderful. Oh, awesome. I sound like... I don't know, acorns being put through a cheese grater and especially in the reading last time. <laughs> My poor, poor throat. Oh, we have a video. All right, let's let's give a listen real quick. Yes, I'm about to leave Picardo. I know. I have problems with my attention apparently, so the stream can wait. I am done. I am through. I am just sick of it all. I am tired of the feeders in my stupid game of lol. Wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 does she do the, um, did she do the Obu cover of Bitch Lasagna for PewDiePie? Is that, is that who that is? Because I might know who that is then. Oh, that, that's fantastic. So I finally have a name to her other than Obu Girl. <laughs> that's probably not the best nickname for anyone because I'm pretty sure that's how any furry generally responds to a to a lady of Neanders. They are friends IRL. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, great. Now I'm racist against anime. Nope. The internet's hate. I, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to call it in now. I'm never gonna get anywhere online. Nobody. Nobody wants me. I've offended Italy and anime. Sush! Sush! No, they do not all look the same. Fooies do not iwu. Iwi? E w e iwi. Furries do not iwi. No, that's Uganda knuckles. I'm pretty sure. E iwi in a way. Are the anime race? Ah. This has been an enlightening and a deeply disturbing stream. No. 
Lasagna Scepter. Mamma Mia. Oh god, so we have three anime girls. The anime race is growing. A little BRB. Why not if we could only concentrate them in some sort of... Oh god, like distilled anime extract. My god, that would be the most dangerous weapon ever to befall the human race. Sush, I'm sorry. You've become too powerful. Uh, we, it's gotta happen. More like a... I'm not touching that one. Turning back. I... I'd go camping with anime girls if you two. I don't give a what. Just in the middle of a wood. It sounds like the setup for like a bad horror movie. Lost in the middle of the woods with a bunch of anime voice actors. God, that would be something that turns into like Aoni or something like that. I think that's what what it's called, Aoni. Ioni. The thing with the big blue-faced people, the PewDiePie played the game like ages and ages ago. Friends go camping and they realize the site they chose was built on top of. Sush, why are you doing this to me? <sighs> Objectively, though, that would be an intense movie. Jesus. Oh my god, I loved I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. That was a great, great... I, I like the game. The book was pretty good. But I, I, I kind of like the fact that the game went a little bit farther and in the audiobook, which Harlan Ellison... Ellison or Elliot? Harlan. Say I love it and then I can't remember it. What was it? Harlan. 
Thank you. Harlan Ellison. Really? Doesn't seem right. Oh, I shouldn't be laboring my computer so badly. Streaming and web searching. Yeah, Harlan Ellison, all right. Yeah, he had a YouTube channel for the longest time, but I liked his performance in the video game more than I did his version of the audiobook, which I listened to, because he, he took Am and he made Am very robotic sounding in my corridors. There exist this many miles of copper casing, you know. And in, 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 in the video game, he speaks much more articulately, much more recognizably, with some radio crackly effect in the background, I feel like it, it brings a much more serious tone to the computer. Does he confirm my theory that Benny is... Uh... I don't know. I don't think so, but by the end of that, I don't think any character has any real trait that you can latch on for sure. Because Am has just monkeyed with them and toyed with them arbitrarily for the sake of toying with them to such a degree that they're just sort of the end result of an equation rather than the, the actual factors in it. He actually had a YouTube channel and it, he was blunt as heck. He was quite the um, opinionated fellow. In the video game, the writer is doing them. Oh, I did not know that, but that is, that is, uh, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Sending it to his high school teacher, Al. Welcome back, Meg. Now, I'm going to take a minute to go get some additional water. And while I am away, I am going to set up my little suspender friend here. Well, this is going to be this is going to be quite precarious. Let's see, can I can I kind of can I kind of rope him in here? There, absolutely fine. Matt Smith, keep him busy.
Hello, I have returned. And I have found my belt. I'm sorry, suspenders. Your days are numbered. <laughs> wow, we suspender friend. Yes, I have. Stop with the headphones. I don't need those. The belt, part of the non-noodle anatomy, referred to as the third suspender. I don't know. I can't trust anybody who doesn't trust their own britches enough to be held in place by suspenders or a belt separately. Ouch. I've never played Bloodborne. Oh, what happened to her YouTube? God, the more the more we talk about, oh, you know, uh, the good old days. I miss their YouTube. I miss their YouTube. I'm starting out with this little tiny channel. It feel it, it, the feeling is more like I'm entering this big open wasteland, this desolate post-apocalyptic landscape. Going, oh, I'd like to make people laugh, please. Can anyone hear me? I've got suspenders. Hmm. <laughs> Hair in my mouth. Great. Caleb Streams, come for the writing, stay for the uh, strange noises he makes with his face. I hate that. You get, you get like a bug crawling on you, you kill it, for hours later you feel the little thing crawl on you still, and every little hair moves, I'm like, mm, what is it? Get a hair in your mouth, get it out, then you're, for the, like anytime something moves around your mouth, you're like, is there another one in there? I will send you some of Nianer's hits later. All right. Sounds like a plan.
Il me semble. She made such masterpieces as Nianaconda and Gucci Gang Uncensored cover. Isn't Gucci Gang just the song where they say Gucci Gang over and over and over and over again? I thought that's the one. They say some other things. I've never heard it in its entirety.
Alright, do I call him raspberry or plum? Plum. Okay, plum. Okay. I know too many colloquialisms here, and I don't want to make him sound too human.
Yeah, sure. to the spell checked.
Well, then, in that case, I think we're going to have to uh, end this stream on a cliffhanger here. I gotta do a little bit more research and make sure I didn't already state what Corba does. And uh, come next stream, we might be doing another reading. So, Sush, if you have a microphone, I might just be picking you, since you delight the chat so with your presence and company. Anyway, thank you everybody for joining us. I hope you were entertained and I hope you enjoyed the stream. It is my pleasure. And if this is on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know these aren't the most visually engaging, like I'm not drawing or bouncing off the walls or anything, but hopefully there's a select audience out there that just likes the background noise and, and being a part of this and watching a, a novel slowly come together. If ever you have any questions or anything about the novel, if this is the stream, leave them over here to the side in the chat. Uh, well, actually, no, even still my camera's down here, so it's all going to be in the chat uh, or down below if this is YouTube, and I will try to field any questions that you can. So, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next Wednesday. As always, it is an honor, a pleasure, and a privilege. Straight my dicky tie. Goodbye.